Dear students, let us know about the events in sexual reproduction. You know there are three events in sexual reproduction. There are pre-fertilization events, fertilization event, and post-fertilization events. Now pre-fertilization events. Pre-fertilization events of sexual reproduction occur prior to the fertilization event. You know in pre-fertilization events, gamete formation and gamete transfer would be there. Gamete formation is known as gametogenesis. After gamete formation, gametes, male gametes will be transferred from male reproductive organ to the female reproductive organ. Now, types of gametes. You know, gametes can be divided into two types, isogametes or homogametes and heterogametes. You know, structurally and functionally similar male and female gametes are called homogametes or isogametes. Examples, cladophora and eulotrix. You know, in cladophora, the male gamete and female gamete cannot be easily distinguished because male gamete and female gametes are similar, very similar. Look here, these are male and female gametes of cladophora right now heterogametes morphologically distinct male and female gametes are called heterogametes the male gamete of heterogametes is called enterozoid or sperm cell and the female gamete is called egg or ovum in plural ova these are heterogametes look the male gamete is known as a sperm cell and female gamete is called egg. Sperm is motile here, and egg is non motile. Now, sexuality in organisms. There are two types of sexuality in organisms one is homotelic or monoecious, another one is dioecious. What is a monoecious? Monoecious organism which is the organism which has both male and female sexes some examples of monoecious plants are sara cucurbita here in this picture we see reproductive structure of sara it is monoecious because of having both male and female sexes in the same individual this is a female reproductive structure which is known as archegonium. This is a male reproductive structure which is known as enteridium. This is a cucurbita flower. This is a coconut flower. This is maize flower. Okay, they are having both male and female sexes in the same individuals. So now, hermaphrodite. Bisexual or monoecious animals are called hermaphrodite animals example tap worm in tap worm the maturity of male and the female sexes are done in same time that is why self fertilization occurs another hermaphrodite animal is uh, artworm artworm does not have self fertilization because maturity of male and the female sexes are not synchronized right so bisexual flower here look here this is a male reproductive structure stamen androsium this is a female reproductive structure pistil uh, or gynoecium now what is dioecious if the male and the female sexes are present separately in separate individuals the organisms are called dioecious. So some examples of dioecious plants are Marcientia, it is a bryophyte. One more example is papaya. You know men papaya plants flower only. They do not bear fruits, right? Next we have cell divisions during gamete formation type of the cell division during gamete formation right 
you know gametes are always haploids whether the parent organism is a haploid or diploid the type of cell division occurs in gametogenesis is depend on the parent organism the ploidy or the parent organism if the parent organism is diploid there will be meiosis for gametogenesis or gamete formation if the parent organism is haploid then there will be mitosis you know in haploid cells there cannot be meiosis right meiosis never occur in haploid cells so several organisms belonging to monera fungi algae and the bryophytes have haploid plant body but organisms belonging to teratophytes gymnosperms angiosperms and most of the animals including human beings the parent body is diploid so meiosis occur in diploid organisms like human being for gametogenesis and in uh, uh, plants like uh, bryophyte algae there is mitosis for gametogenesis this diagram is uh, for mitosis and meiosis you see in mitosis the number of the chromosomes present in the daughter cells are similar as that of the parental cells in meiosis the number of the chromosomes present in the daughter cells are half of the number of chromosomes present in the parent cells right so mitosis occurs in haploid organisms for gametogenesis meiosis occur in diploid organisms for gametogenesis right blue here these are gamete formation in diploid organisms female gamete formation is called oogenesis male gamete formation is called spermatogenesis because male gametes are known as sperms and female gametes are known as ova or ovum ovum in singular ova in plural ovum is also known as uh, egg sperm cells are also known as enterozoite i have already told you now next we have myocytes you know in diploid organisms the gamete mother cells are known as myocytes now let us see the number of the chromosomes present in the myocytes and they are gametes in some organisms here in this table so here these are the number of the chromosomes present in the myocytes and that of the gametes look 